Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're obviously, obviously going to talk about the semiconductor industry. What's new, right, Jose? Come out with some great new content. Uh, AMD just released some amazing information uh, about the stock. We're going to talk about the overall acquisition with Silinx. We're also going to take a quick look at some new kind of partnerships that they're working with. And finally, um, AMD got a nice price target boost. So all that in today's episode. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Check out the pinned comment for free Discord, free newsletter, and a lot of great investing links. So let's get started. So AMD right now sitting at $130. Uh, it is down about 1.86. It's been pretty choppy market, right? We can see though year to date, the stock is down about 13.34%. And in the past year, it's actually done amazing up for almost 41%. Uh, AMD definitely, definitely, took quite a hit but we can see that kind of come up comeback story uh in the past year from that low of low 100s it's already up 27 percent so first i want to take a quick look today on february 10th uh amd announced that google cloud chooses third generation amd epic processors to power new compute focused instances this is not the first time google cloud has picked third generation third generation also known as milan um for for some other instances right this is a partnership that we've seen continue continue to evolve which is great great news especially because in the most recent earnings which the company reported i believe february 1st of 2022 so about a week and a half ago the company recorded record quarterly revenue of 4.8 billion dollars up 49 percent year over year and full year revenue another record full year revenue of 16.4 billion up 68% year over year. And Lisa Su, the CEO, she mentioned that, hey, they are seeing great performance in all of their markets. But one of the biggest drivers right now is the overall adoption of their data center processors. They mentioned that data center revenue has doubled year over year driven by growing adoption of AMD Epic processors across cloud and enterprise customers. They did also mention in the earnings call that data center revenue now makes up roughly 20% of total revenue that is great news because this is a market that provides very very high margins so overall this is what you want to see even though it's a partnership that has already been done in the past just the overall ev evolvement of it or just the increase of products that google cloud is using amd's processors for i think is a big win nothing dramatic right it's nothing this single news article is not something that i believe would jump the stock price but it just continues to kind of add to that bullish thesis that third generation amd epic processors is continued to be heavily adopted by the market and i do believe once we come out with the fourth gen epic um processor as well i believe it's later in 2022 i i honestly forgot the actual date but I do believe it's the second half of 2022. We're going to continue to see this strong adoption, which is going to continue to drive AMD's revenue. Let's take a listen to today's sponsor. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through the Motley Fool Stock Advisor services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month, you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisor's average stock picks have done amazing returns. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the Stock Advisor is right for you. Thanks again to the Motley Fool and now on to today's video. Uh, some other recent news yesterday amd stock price did take a nice jump uh we did see daiwa securities upgrade amd to a buy from outperform and they adjusted the price target to 150 from 140 so obviously that's going to bring some more bullish sentiment towards the stock price we can see right now stock is sitting at around 130 dollars now the most important I, I think this is probably the most important news that came out today amd receives all necessary approvals for proposed acquisition of side links uh, so they expect the transaction to close on or about february 14th of 2022 so let me just say if you don't have a valentine's date this year i'm pretty sure and you are amd holder this is going to be the best valentine's day for you uh but obviously all jokes aside um with the exceptions of some custom closing conditions they expect transactions to close on or about february 14th 
Worst case scenario, in my opinion, hey, might get pushed back a few days due to maybe some people just taking their sweet time signing some papers on the other end. Um, but this is an acquisition that is a done deal. Uh, for those that are not familiar, the transaction is going to bring together two industry leaders with complementary products and portfolio for different customers, combining CPUs, GPUs, those are mainly AMDs. Then we come with FPGAs, which is a brand new market that AMD is going to enter because of Silinx. I do believe this is going to do really well for the overall data center revenue. Then you have your adaptive uh, system, system on chips, uh, and then deep software expertise. Again, this is an acquisition that makes perfect sense. Uh, this is an acquisition that I believe will definitely accelerate and boost AMD's kind of future uh, going forward, uh, especially a big player in the data center market, in the clouding market, and in the edge market right now, which is where a lot of these chips are being used at the moment. So before I kind of end this episode, we can see, obviously I'm bullish in AMD. This is a tier one company in my portfolio. I believe it's number two right now, and I have no intentions of selling. Obviously, there's a lot of risk in the semiconductor industry right now with supply chain with supply and demand issues still unbalanced any forms of hiccup any form of disturbance in in supply chains can really affect stock prices right this is something that um amd to my opinion is somewhat priced to perfection most of the semiconductor industry is and if any little hiccup happens i think in the short term we can see a heavy heavy amount of volatility in the long term of things i wouldn't worry too much personally about amd or some of the other semiconductors that I'm actually holding. With AMD and that valuation, this is something a stock that I wouldn't mind dollar cost averaging every week if I didn't have a position. If I do, which I do have a really nice position size on this company, I'm more of being a little bit more patient and kind of waiting, maybe seeing if I get it any more price, uh, a better price target later on in the future. At the same time, even if I don't, I'm very, very happy with my position size, right? So dollar cost averaging if I didn't have one, but since I do, it's pretty much a hold maybe for some better, better times. So take care, have a good day, and see you next time.